Hey guys, thank you for watching my tutorial on the net present value or the NPV. It is a really uh, core concept in finance. It is a good way to measure uh, the profitability of projects and also comparing projects. So as per usual, I'll have a link in the description to this uh, template which you can download and play around with yourself. Uh, I've also included these uh, instructions for you, but if you'd like to hang around, I'm going to quickly run through the concept and uh, how to use the spreadsheet. So as I said, net present value, a uh, great way to calculate the uh, profitability of different projects. And I've got the formula up on screen now for you. So uh, simply, we just need to take the uh, initial investment or the initial uh, costs associated with the project, and this number must be negative. And then following that, we must sum the present value of all expected future cash flows. Now, it is important to note that uh, for C, for cash flows, this needs to be uh, profit and not just uh, sales or revenue. It has to be profit. So we also need a discount rate, which is the R term. And I've done tutorials on the uh, weighted average cost of capital and the CAPM before to derive discount rates. I'll link them down in the description for you. And uh, finally, we've just got our time period as well. Now, it is important that we are using uh, a discount rate that reflects the time period. So for simplicity, I'm going to use uh, just years for our time period, and I'm just going to use a annual discount rate. So if we just come back into Excel now, I'll start fresh. So when selecting the discount rate, as I said, we can use a number we've derived from the weighted average cost of capital calculation, or we can just use, uh, for simplicity, some opportunity cost, uh, which is the cost of the next best project or uh, another investment you might make. So I'm just going to use uh, 10%, just keep it simple. Uh, we also need to add in our initial costs or our setup costs. So remember, this number has to be negative. So I'm just going to say $50,000 of startup costs for our fictional business. Then let's just add in some arbitrary cash flows. Okay, now we can see uh, that what I've entered in here, and remember we only need to be inserting values into the gray colored cells. Uh, all the other cells are automated for you. So at the bottom, we've got the uh, NPV value here, and we can see that this number is positive. So any positive NPV means that we should uh, accept the project. I've also added a little function down here uh, to keep it easy. So any positive net present value means that the present value of the expected future cash flows is greater than the present value of the costs. So our project is worthwhile. Or in other words, the uh, return we can expect to generate from this project is greater than our discount rate of 10%. Now, if you don't have five time periods of data like I've entered in here, that's okay. Uh, it's easy if we want to just delete cells. Uh, the calculation will still work for you. And if you'd like to add cells, we can do that too. It's not too difficult. Uh, so all we need to do is just add some uh, rows in here. So I'm going to click on this uh, 12 here on this column on the far left, it's actually outside of the spreadsheet. Click on that, it'll highlight the entire row. Uh, make sure we're in the Home tab, then we come over here to Insert and Insert Sheet Rows. Now all we have to do is just add in the number 6 here for our time period, that's important. And of course we need to add in our cash flow, and then this column will be automated for you and it will sum it to the uh, net present value. So that's not too difficult at all. And uh, there we have it. So I thank you guys for watching. Please do download the uh, template and leave a comment if you need a hand with anything. But apart from that, uh, please like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.